are you ready to learn all of the ways that my assistant uses ChatGPT as she's working with me? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Lian Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant company here in the Philippines and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, this is a continuing of a series that my assistant and I are doing of how she does different things in my business and of course working with me and this is a walkthrough of the different ways that she's used chat gpt and to make it a little bit fun she'll even teach me how she does it because i have no idea how she does it um and before even recording this video i'm like oh you can do that with chat gpt so this has been a fun little exercise in that so we're gonna walk you guys through the different ways that she uses chat gpt as well as bonus tips maybe later on if you want to learn more about chat gpt now Honey, you can go ahead and go unmute and say hi to everyone. Hello, guys. It's me again. <laughs> All right. So uh, so we have a list of the things that you do, honey. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and share screen and open up my own chat GPT. Uh, so on here, uh, we basically have just a blank um, canvas, I guess, on like ChatGPT. Uh, but if you guys never used ChatGPT before, you can just click new chat and that's what we'll do. We won't we won't prepare it ahead. It will just be using what Honey has been using it for. So Honey, can you walk me through what's the first thing um, on your list of things that you use ChatGPT for? Okay, so the first thing is client research. So before Leanne will show up to every client call, I always Make sure that researching what those clients do or what their business is all about is being prepared. As I grab some information about the client, of course, I always make sure that I only grab the important things about them. This is where ChatGPT comes in. I just copy the information and ask ChatGPT, what are the main points of this? And it automatically generates responses, which are very helpful and the format would be like a bulleted point. So after ChatGPT uh, generate that response, I just copy and paste it to our um, database or our tracker and that's it. And of course, I also double check everything if that really is important. And then after I finalize that, then it's good to go. Amazing. So as because she's teaching me all of this, uh, I just grabbed my own bio um, as an example. So what she'll do is, again, you know, she goes into someone else's website before I do a call with them, grabs their bio bullet points. So I've just inputted my own bio in here. I've used the prompt uh, that Honey said, what are the main points of this bio in bullet points? I'll go ahead and click enter. Oh, there you go. And then, it, then this is actually what I see. Like she creates a lot of these reports before I hop on a call with a potential client. Uh, and this is what I see. I just see this bullet points um, breakdown already of the bio of that person. So that's great. That's pretty amazing. Okay, what was what's next on your list? Okay, so the second one, which is this is actually my favorite. Uh, email management. So before ChatGPT, I usually got stuck to some phrases or responses, especially when there are emails that need immediate action. There are times that I'm dotting the email that I wrote or just want to make it better at some point. For example, make it sound nice and personable. And then when ChatGPT came out, I can easily write up emails and just ask ChatGPT to make this better. Of course, Handling the email means I need to learn how to communicate. So I just don't fully rely on the tool. I also made some edits for it to be more uh, sound like her. Like clients won't even know that I'm actually the one who's replying to them, not the end. So yeah, that's the magic of ChatGPT there. Amazing. So let's say I just grabbed a uh, usual question that we do get a lot. So you'll type in, uh, write a personable response to this email. So it's just a, some, I literally copy and pasted this from somebody's email. Like I'm planning to hire a VA for my business in a month, a month, then about a month or two. I'd love to learn more about the processes and have any idea on the investment. Uh, and then um, just because I'm me, I would add my... Actually, no, I just do it that. I'll, do, I'll see what, what uh, chat GPT spells are. Uh, thank you so much for your email. You're just online for your business. Uh, amazing. Yeah, that sounds, can be a game changer for many entrepreneurs. Yes, it can be. Uh, <laughs> 
got it. That's pretty cool. I did this. I didn't even put in like, hey, we have a virtual assistant agency. This is what we do. Um, yeah, no, that's that's pretty accurate. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, what else do you use ChatGPT for? Okay, so the fourth one is just outlining reports. So there are reports that I'm not familiar with. That's why learning never stops. But I will never say I can't do it. I will always say, yes, I can do that because I want to learn it. So ChatGPT is very useful when it comes to like idea generation. So by the time I asked ChatGPT to create an outline for this and that, it really generate a uh, format. And by just looking, I can already imagine what would that report look like. For example, uh, the content of that report and the things that should be in there. So it made my life as an assistant easier than before. Got it. So with that, so for example, one of the reports that we always have Honey Create is uh, create a report based on the call that I just did with the client. You know, what are what are the things that they would their assistant would need? And I basically just give her like a big bullet point um, of everything that they've said that they wanted the assistant could do. So I'll put create a report on what a virtual oops, what a virtual assistant can do. For a client based on these tasks mentioned in a sales call. So then I will paste in, and this is like actual, like a list uh, the client uh, gave us. So then let's see what ChatGPT spots out. It takes a while. It's thinking. It's thinking still. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Without again, without any like background yet, so it's even more powerful later on if you guys do train ChatGPT on how on what your business is about, what you guys do. So that's pretty cool. Okay, getting images for posts. So yeah, there you go. Then it just it'll just keep generating that. So I'm gonna pause the generating, but I imagine, honey, that you use this then to basis of your report, right? Yes, of course. Perfect. Okay. Next thing, next thing on your list. <laughs> okay, so the next one, so we're done with outlining reports. So as ChatGPT outlined the things that I needed, it eventually became templates. So the third thing is templates. So that templates uh, that I can use moving forward, in short, it became my assets as a virtual assistant or as Leanne's assistant that I could just edit and update that from time to time as changes come in you know into xu we always have that bulletproof system so we should have the templates so yeah got it perfect okay so um wonder if so i'm gonna i'm gonna skip ahead guys i'm gonna let it regenerate again and then then we're gonna ask it to create a template so so now we have that uh, report right here. We had to kind of cut it a little bit shorter just because it was taking longer. So say that we're going to say create a template based on the report above for feature reports. Go ahead and put that in and see what will come up. There you go. Oh, I get it. That's very cool. It's very interesting. So then in the future, then you can ask it to use this template basically, right? Yep. Amazing. Okay, what else? Okay, so we're done with the template. So next thing would be um, just research tasks. As for me, uh, ChatGPT can be an excellent resource for us assistant in our research tasks. Since it provides uh, quick and though not accurate information, that's why we need to double check as well. But overall, it helps me stay productive and efficient. So another tip, you can actually just grab the link to that article or any website and it will then generate the information for you like bulleted points of that important information so that's basically it got it so let's say i wanted to research um top fantasy romance books uh for 2023 let's say just that so you're saying that i could just say, ask it to create a summary of this and i just grabbed a link from you know 10 most highly anticipated save and submit and then it'll just it's just generating a summary i would imagine though that you can also use it like if you if i wanted to just grab like this whole thing um probably going to be harder than there you go um so full credit to the person that we're checking their their website on uh so if i just go up create a summary of this 
we'll just create a summary, right? That's very nice. That's very cool. That's very quick and easy. Um, there we go. Okay, so what else? Okay, so next is just transcription for a YouTube video. So in the previous video, I use a tool. So if you want to find out what that is, make sure to check out um, the previous video with ChatGPT that can help with transcription for YouTube. But so by using um, its natural language processing, um, let's say capabilities to transcribe uh, the spoken words in the video into text, this can be done by just um, copying and pasting. Once uh, the transcription is generated, it can be edited and formatted accordingly before being added as caption or any way you prefer to basically repurpose your content. So it's just pretty easy and quick tool to use. So you better check the previous video. Yes. Okay. So next is uh, what? What? What's the next thing that you use ChatGPT for? So next thing is just content. For example, like hashtag research or just captions. So for hashtag, um, what do I usually do is that it can generate additional helpful hashtags for SEO, which is good. And then for caption, then somehow it can also help me create that caption out of that specific content title and of course just edit and if you want it to sound like personable or let's say I want it to sound more like the app so basically you can input that to touch GPT so it's just helpful in the same way very cool so let's see I'm grabbing a post that we posted the other day um, on my social media so I'm going to put generate hashtags in a short caption based on this post. Just pasting that whole thing in there. Um, and it's basically, that's pretty nice. So it has the captions and it has the hashtags. Nice. Very cool. What's the next thing? Okay. The next thing is just uh, related to social media engagement, so replying to comments, and then engaging to some relevant posts. So what I mean by replying to comments is, that, for example, there's this certain person who commented that certain post. So I just I can just grab his or her comment, and then I'll just ask ChatGPT, what are the possible reply to this, to that, and of course, edit as much as possible to make it sound mm. like um, personable, uh, it's just that you have that idea on what to respond instead of just like taking the time to think. So it's useful in the same way. Got it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a um, comment on previous posts. Um, all right. So this is a good one. Uh, so this is a vid from the video that I did of admin tasks for a virtual assistant. So generate possible responses responses on this YouTube comment. Nice. That makes it a lot easier <laughs> where you don't have yeah. to you don't have to do it from uh, from scratch or you know just think of like hey what's a witty thing um, they can add on here. Um, got it. That's pretty cool. What's next? I think this is the last one, which is engaging in some relevant posts. So it generates an idea on what to comment to that specific post. But then again, as I mentioned earlier, edit as much as possible for it to sound like personable and sound like the person you are handling or just, for example, the app as per me. And what is the last uh, tip that you have for us on the ways that you're using ChatGPT? Okay, so the last is just grammar checking or just mm -hmm. improving sentences so i guess as a quick example we can go ahead and grab this just so it's easy so i'll just copy this so then you'll just ask ChatGPT, um check for grammar mistakes and improve this right yep okay let's see what it spelled out there you go so I just rewrote a lot of it um, and has made it a little bit easier to read through. Got it. Um, 
That is amazing. So honey, to kind of wrap this video up, what do you think for you has made, you know, what are, what is the top reason for you that why ChatGPT is something that you use every single day? Uh, so for ChatGPT, I find it very useful as a tool since it really made my tasks or work done efficiently and productively. And then just make sure that you don't fully rely on that tool. You have to make this um you know effort as well to double check to edit since this is an ai tool so it's not a human of course so it needs common sense or just make the phrases um sound like a person is doing that thing or a person is replying to that certain kind of email so you just have to be let's say use it wisely i think so yeah that's it Amazing. Thank you so much, honey. Um, and that's basically how she uses ChatGPT. Now, speaking of ChatGPT, um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we do have a product that we're coming out in 2XU. We're calling it just plain and simple, just a ChatGPT2XU workbook. So it is all of the prompts that our assistants have been using in the last probably four months now of using chat GPT and different kind of formats, different kind of examples that you can use throughout all the different parts of your business. So if you guys are interested in that, we do have a link below for a wait list as it's going to come out this April. So go ahead and sign up through the link in the description below so you guys can sign up for it and you guys will be able to get the first discount as we launch it very soon. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. What are the ways that you use ChatGPT and what do you think an assistant can do with it as well? And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.